question it says that prove that x square plus x plus one is always positive. So what we have is a quadratic equation and we have to show that once we factorize it, result is always positive. So in this case, we cannot factorize it by middle term breakage or the quadratic formula. So what we'll do is we'll use the completing square method. With the completing square method, what we do is we're basically using a square plus 2ab plus b square and converting it into a plus b whole square. So looking at our equation, we have our x square term, which is corresponding to a square. For our 2ab, we will do 2 times x and times 1 over 2. Why 1 over 2? Because if we do 2 times x times 1, that's going to equal to 2x, not x, which is given in the equation. So the only thing that gets multiplied to 2x to turn it into x is 1 over 2, which means our b square is going to be 1 over 2 whole square. So now 1 over 2 square is being added to this equation. It's a completely new term. So what we do is we will subtract it as well. So let's bring this over here now. x square plus 2 times x times 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 whole square minus 1 over 2 whole square. And then the plus 1 comes as it is. So now let's convert this into the a plus b whole square format. So that's going to be x plus 1 over 2 whole square. Now this minus 1 over 2 whole square will remain outside the bracket because obviously that's not a part of the expansion of a plus b whole square. Only a square plus 2ab plus b square is a part of the expansion for a plus b whole square. So this becomes negative 1 over 4 plus 1. Now let's combine the constants that are outside. That's going to be negative 1 plus 4 over 4, which is going to be 3 over 4. So now if you look at the factorized form, we can see that 3 over 4 is a positive number. And any term which is squared is positive as well. So the value of x plus 1 over 2 whole square would also be positive. Like hence, whenever we factorize x squared plus x plus 1, the result will always be positive. And if we keep it as it is, like in its quadratic form over here, then that would also be positive.